Hello, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Uh, for this problem, uh, we're trying to find the sum of the distinct prime factors um, of the difference of 25 cubed and 27 squared. Um, so the first thing we're going to do um, is try and factor this down a little bit and make it look a little nicer. Um, you'll observe that 25 is equal to 5 squared and 27 is equal to 3 cubed. Uh, so we will make those substitutions. Uh, so we made uh, that substitution uh, and we see that um, 25 squared minus 27 or 25 cubed minus 27 squared is equal to um, 5 to the 6th power minus 3 to the 6th power. Um, and so we see that, um, or we can take this, um, since they both have even powers, uh, we can say that they are, um, we can look at, or we can say that 5 to the 6th minus 3 to the 6th is equal to a 5 cubed plus 3 cubed uh, times 5 cubed minus 3 cubed which we're able to do because uh, this is an even power. And so we just have written out um, that 25, to the cu 25 cubed minus 27 squared is equal to a 5 cubed plus 3 cubed times 5 cubed minus 3 cubed. Um, so now what we have to do um, is we have the sum of cubes and the difference of cubes. Um, so what we do now is we uh, plug in the formulas for sum of cubes and difference of cubes. Um, so for the sum of cubes, um, for x cubed plus y cubed is equal to um, x plus y uh, times x squared minus xy plus y squared. And for, distance, and for difference of cubes, we have uh, x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So we'll write those down. Uh, with 5 equal to x and 3 equal to y. Um, so having uh, done or plugged in the formulas for sum and difference of cubes, uh, we find that um, the original expression is equal to 5 plus 3 times 5 squared minus 15 plus 3 squared. Um, times 5 minus 3 uh, times 5 squared minus 15 plus 9. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we will just uh, simplify um, all of the sums inside the parentheses. Uh, so we have, um, simplifying all these expressions, uh, we have 8 times 19 times 2 times 49. Um, so this is an expression uh, we already see two prime factors, um, 19 and 2. Um, we have two terms that are not prime, 8 and 49. Um, the prime factorization of 8 um, is 2 cubed, and 49, the prime factorization is 7 squared. Uh, so we'll just uh, simplify those into prime factor, or we'll prime factor them, and see what we come up with. So we find that the prime factorization um, of the initial expression is equal to 2 to the 4th times 7 squared times 19. So we have three prime factors, 2, 7, and 19. Um, so all we have left to do is add them together. And so we see that um, the final sum of the distinct prime factors is equal to 2 plus 7 plus 19, which equals uh, 28. I thank you so much for watching this week's Problem of the Week. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, check out our website, centerofmath.org. Thank you.